So we're back for more greetings and welcome everyone. We're going to keep playing LA Noir and before I started this recording I checked to see if it was laggy. It was not laggy so LA Noir is a go for me. So we're currently chasing a guy and that's all. Yeah. Run. Run. Why are you not running? Oh. I was pressing the wrong button. I was pressing the wrong button. I'll turn! Power! Hold it right there! He's a zombie! What? I won't tell you again, Wendell! Why can't I just... Watch your fire! If you shoot me, I swear to God. I swear to God. I don't know. Get out there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Why? Stay the hell away from me! Why? Oh, you bastard. You gotta be kidding! You fucking asked for it! Yeah, I, I, I don't understand why we're chasing the guy. Why are you doing this? Please! I've done my time! It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. Geronimo! Gee! Dude, Phelps got moved. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Uh, for fuck's sake, you massive pussy bitch! Oh. What was that? What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. How? Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? How did we... Okay, we, we got him. I'm, I'm fine with that. But how did we get him down? Like... That was some insane report. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps, Merrill, 10, Franklin, 8, Weiss, 8, Donahoe, 6, Kowalski, 6, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 2, Leadership, Donahoe, 8, Franklin, 7, Merrill, 6, Kowalski, 6, Weiss, 5, Hudson, 5, Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Tough decisions. What can you do? That's life. Deal with it. Buyer beware. Huh? For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average rank and file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Is that Lorna? That's Lorna. <clears throat> LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. No shit! Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, first off the body. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Oh my god, you got fucked up, boy. Everything. 
Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. E. Looks nimble. Bank of Arcadia. Name C. Galata. South Broadway article per period. Retail price. Date. So was he like the owner or something? Leiway C. Galetta. Leiway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Returned. Okay. Why would you put that back? Like, I'm, I have no idea what's going on, okay? I, I'm not a cop. I don't know anything about being a cop. Stop. 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 Okay, let's just... I don't think there's anything about the hand. Let's check his other pocket. Okay, the face. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Okay. Yep, he is fucking dead. There is nothing. No. Okay, hold on. Is there anything else? No, 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 no. Okay, 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 that's enough, that's enough. That's enough. What's this? No, that's not. Shoot. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. You didn't see anything? This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Nope. Clear this area immediately. Wait, there's something here, right? Like something golden. Oh, bullets. Okay. Um, Shell casings. These look like 32s. Well, that's about, that's about it. You can't, like, examine it with shell. Can you? Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. you all this is a secure area. Around. You all need to leave. Okay. We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, can I, can I help you, sir? Yes, I would like to buy some I'm Officer shoes. Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Okay. Clearly I would miss account. Questions are listed on the right. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned in. Saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Proof select light to accuse a witness of lying. You will need to present an evidence. Press three to accuse a witness of lying. Oh! You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Chloe Vulture. Ah, Chloe. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. 
I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Okay, possible murder suspect. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? No. Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Chief Sir Clark, I witnessed the murder of Albert Kate. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. That was fine. No, that, that is the truth, okay? I can't, I can't blame her on that one. I'm glad that this particular... I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Five in total. Five. <coughs> Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Okay, that was pretty good. Detected clues will be marked on the map. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of which... Why? Why would you do that? Hold on. Let me check. Ah, yeah, ha, ha. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking. Tate, maintain the perimeter. Yeet. <laughs> this is so entertaining to watch. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so first thing is uh, the dumpster. I think you're actually aiming for these people. No, God. Watch out for the civilians. Ha <laughs> ha! 
What can I do you for? What do you have in there? Oh, it's a shooting range. Pretty cool. Alright. Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir. Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it had never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Okay. Primary weapon service. Oh yeah, the end of the vehicle. <clears throat> Come on, drive for once! Oh wait. Uh, locations. And the uh, jewelry store. And uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> a new watch. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. He is going to run. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! I told no, you. I saw him. We both know how to Kalu! Get back here! He wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Oh, there. Too late, Kalu! Oh! No! No! <laughs> oh, I thought you did want me to. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Okay, I shouldn't have sh shot him down. I Officer guess. Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. I was right, though. Said he'd lie down. <laughs> I was right. I'll buzz okay. him for you. Just let me! Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, Officer! He's getting away! How do you even know that he is getting away? Maybe he ran because he had explosive diarrhea. Oh, God. Kalu! Get back here! Thank you, One okay, I get it, I get it. So I need to feel the thing. Step away! I need to catch the bastard! Too late, Kalu! Oh, come on! That was so close! Damn it! Yeah, I'm not gonna go this way. Oh my Next god, the car! Stop or I will shoot! Oh my god. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> no rights? Nothing? You have the right to remain silent? No. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve, the one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leaves, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. 
God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal coming, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Okay. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay, good. Now we can the episode. So, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Uh, comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video. I will make more. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.